Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on basic use of the do file editor in Stata. Now there's a ton of things we can do in the do file editor and some of them are extremely advanced so my purpose here is not to try to get into everything that you can do but it's just to really achieve two things. First I want to show you how to open it up and secondly I just want to show you how to enter some commands in it and run it. So it's, it's, it's very, very basic, but if you can establish the habit of using the do file editor and writing code in Stata right from the start, you're going to do really well in, in Stata programming. And when I say programming, there's nothing to be uh, afraid of there because even if you're going to spend, let's say, you know, a couple of years working on a thesis, during that time, you are a programmer. And, you know, that's the way you have to think about it. You, your data have to be approached from sort of a best practices mindset and the do file editor and status part of those best practices. So let's get going. I'm going to start by just opening a data set here and it's the census 13 data set. The first thing I want to impress upon you here is to think of data and what you do to those data in kind of distinct ways. So what you don't want to do is go in here and you know make constant changes to this data set, uh, update it, save it as you know different versions. What you want to do is to try to keep these data as untouched as possible, you know, to the extent possible. I understand that some data sets are dynamic and they need to be changed, but to the extent possible, you want to leave these data alone and you want to create a do file to basically, you know, do stuff to the data. It's, it's very appropriately named. So let's click on this window and just pull it up. So when you click here, the do file editor comes up and what we can do I'm just going to paste in some commands here that I have in uh, uh, my text file, but you could just type these in also directly if you would want. Here's three things that I would like to do to the census 13 data. The first thing is I'd like to summarize two of those variables in there in a detailed format. Then I want to do a regression of one of the variables on the other. And third, I want to create a nice little line of best fit graph. So the exact commands in here don't matter. I just pasted them in here so you could see, you know, how it works. Now when we're done, we're just going to click here, okay, for execute. Click, just like that. And so actually a lot of stuff happened behind us while we did that. So let me minimize this window and show you. So when we executed, all these commands were run at the same time. So, you know, the first thing we asked for was a detailed summary of the data. And that's what we got for each variable. Next, we asked for the regression model. And once again, that's what we got. And finally, we asked for a graph. And Stata produced this for us also. Now, what I'd like you to think about is this. If you're doing a lot of work, okay, if you're doing a lot of models, a lot of variable summaries, a lot of statistical procedures, imagine the inefficiency of going in there and doing it with the graphic interface here again and again and again. It's non-reproducible, first of all. Um, of course, Stata is really good about if you do something from here, from this interactive menu up here, it's going to show up down here too. So when you enter a command through the box, you're going to see what the code is right off the bat. And a lot of people who are new to Stata just ignore that, but please don't, because once you start learning how to code and putting stuff in the do file editor in particular, um, it's not really that hard to do and it's going to give you a huge, huge leap in experience and ability beyond people who are just using the interactive menu. A couple of things I want to point out. Some people do like to use uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, the text uh, file format for which is I think in Notepad if you want to type out commands but you can paste directly into this window here, the command window in Stata. And that's fine. You can get really far doing that. Um, eventually, though, there are some features of the do file editor, which we won't cover here, but some more advanced features that do stuff that you can't do within just notebook. So what you'll want to do is really start off the right way. Uh, as, as people who uh, have encountered, you know, Stata sort of on their own might know, the learning curve gets gets really long if you do not start learning to type this stuff here that I've got highlighted and if you don't start using the do file as soon as possible. So that's what I'd like to recommend and leave you with. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 
272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.